Hi there, friend. Welcome to Home Keepers. So glad to be here for you. And I'm glad you're there. We appreciate all of our viewers. I'm, I'm really in contact with so many of you every day. Uh, you know, you order the recipes and things. And a, lot, a lot of those requests come to my computer, and I send them over to Wanda, and uh, she sends them on to you. But it's just, uh, it really, it's just kind of a back and forth, and I feel like I know you and appreciate you so very, very much. And always uh, asking God and believing God for new viewers every day because uh, we give a lot of good information from this program and uh, hope that it is doing some good out there. Have a, a, a guest today. I just met her, and boy, we have really just talk, talk, talk. If you want to hear a couple of gals talk, this is your program. Her name is Deborah Morris, and she uh, is the proprietor of the Critter Home Care. And um, I have uh, our family, there are four kids, you know, and my mother and my brother and one of my sisters, they're totally dog people. Uh, they, they love their dogs. I don't have a dog, wouldn't have a life with me, really. And so I'm familiar with those kind of people. But this lady, I mean, when she says critter, she loves animals. And so she has this business and usually thinks it's a dog and, or cats or something, but uh, she'll help you with any kind of animal you have, I think maybe except reptiles, but, you know, even horses and dogs and cats. And it's just a delightful to meet her because usually those kind of people are loving people, really. They, they have a certain thing about them and uh, something to be appreciated. But you know what she's going to talk about really is not her animals, but Selquest. She has one of the most dramatic stories, Selquist stories I've ever heard, and you've heard several on this program. But the more I hear, I'm just more and more and more impressed with this um, item that we have offered for many, many years. I want you to hear her story. And guess what? She uses Selquist for her animals too. So you've got to meet Deborah and hear her story. Going to make some uh, eggs Florentine. It's a casserole with Stephanie and before I join her though I want to remind you and my regular viewers do know about CellQuest but if you don't we'll introduce it just this way for a couple of minutes and then I will join Stephanie but we offer on this program this is an initial offer you can order it from us after that you order it directly from CellQuest and the it's three bottles, 16 ounces each, for $39.95 for the three, and that includes the shipping and handling. And I don't know if you've ever sent anything, any boxes or anything recently, but that is a bargain. And so you can uh, order it by calling 1-800-229-0059 or write to me at Home Keepers, Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, and we will show you this information again before the program's over. But I have joined Stephanie over here. She's looking really sharp. Oh, well, thank you. You, you know how to hang those scarves. Well, kind of. Did you, did you I just study had that somewhere? Fix it. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, I had a viewer write to me. I loved her letter. She said, um, I'm not sure if she gave her age, but she said, I learned by phone and YouTube. Oh, nice. Crochet. Nice. I'm going to start this yeah. real quick while you're talking. She's going to... I'm going to put butter in here. I'm going to put onions and mushrooms okay. while you're talking, okay? Yeah. So she crocheted these... I love the colors. Yeah. Pot holders. Well, yeah, but she's called them dishcloths, but... Oh, dishcloths. Either way. Yeah. But oh, can you nice. believe that? This sweet thing with her telephone. She Stop learned. Stop it. And it did a beautiful job. They're lovely. I love them. They're yeah. beautiful. So, you know... I've always told you we have such great viewers. We there, really, really, really There's do. some proof. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for those. Those are She's beautiful. always already fried up uh, some sausage, right? Yes. And the first one, you know, we make one in the morning. The first one had um, turkey sausage, which we all know no turkey I've ever seen had sausage on it. No. Ever. That's funny. So when it plopped out of the package, <laughs> I was like, I'm not really sure what... <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll see. No, but it, it looked good. It looked like sausage when it was all Does done. Does it take all of these eggs? Yes, please. You can crack well, okay. all those eggs, okay. and then you can also spray the pan for me, please. Okay. I'm just sauteing um, onions and mushrooms, and then I'm going to put some spinach in here that was thawed and squeezed out. All the liquid was squeezed out. So that was frozen to begin with? It was frozen to begin with, yes. And then we have 12 eggs, we have two cups of milk, and then we have Swiss cheese and cheddar cheese and paprika. And I even thought of cutting this in half. This is big. Oh, this is big, but we have lots of people here, so that's Oh, okay. yeah, they'll... This is a, this is a winner. But uh, maybe for somebody this doing could be like their own family. This could be like lunch today and breakfast. Yeah, but you can freeze it. You could have it for tomorrow. So, you can have it for the whole week right? at my house. At your house, you, this is a month, right? <laughs> That's like a, when yeah, I was, I don't have to cook anymore. Just when stick I had it my, in the microwave. My surgery, a friend of mine brought me the biggest lasagna I've ever seen in my whole life. I was able to cut it up and get five meals out of it. Well, that's, uh, you know, my guest today. So what a treat. My guest today is a breast cancer survivor. Oh. I'm fighting the battle, sister. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put spinach in here and heat it up. That's a lot of eggs. It is, but and it's a lot of milk, too, but it's a, it's a nice big casserole, which... It is big, um, yes. and it could have a lot of uses. It could be breakfast, lunch, dinner. That is an interesting whisking process. You yes, <laughs> I'm trying to break... And when I get this going, to put all the milk in? Yes, please. Two okay. cups of milk. This is fun. <laughs> Oh, gosh. There are real chefs watching this going, what is she doing? <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever used a whisk this big. Yeah, here, go like this. Okay. Like this. You do it like Oh, you make me look so bad. And I only know this because I watch Trisha Yearwood. No. That's why she does it? Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> okay, and then two cups of milk. Yep. And just, there you go. I think it'll feed everybody in this building right I now. I think so. So if you want to um, spray the pan. All right. And then we're going to put the sausage in the bottom. Which you're supposed to do over the sink, but you're doing yeah, it right I know. there, so that's okay. I know. Your show, when somebody falls just, on their hiney, <laughs> we'll laugh. No, we won't laugh first. I used to say that we laugh first, and then that, that goes in there. Oh, but once I right. fell and busted my face, I said I'll never laugh first again. First yeah, time, some people's okay. fall and busted an then elbow I'll... or a knee. She busted oh, my, her face. My face right onto the cement floor in, a, in Studio A. But funny thing, my lip swelled a little bit, mm -hmm. and all the wrinkles went away. So I kind of <laughs> knew why people did, you know, did like the injections. <laughs> I'm like, hey, this is kind of nice. Yeah, but no. a, a lot of our viewers know who Phil Driscoll is. Oh, I was fell here. right in front of him. And right he prayed and for you. Smack dab in front of him. They one picked of my her favorite, up and he prayed for. One of my favorite singers fell right from. You can saute this a little bit more at home, but we're going to go ahead and um, get moving. So the sausage went in, which we had already cooked. Okay, this is onions, mushrooms, and spinach, which is nicely sauteed. Boy, this is. Uh, Got about everything in it. Twelve right? eggs with two cups of milk. All whisked up nicely by Mr. Rippy. Mm. And then we have cheddar and Swiss cheese. Thank you. I'll bet that Swiss this cheese This right here. A little. Yes. That I've been munching on it. We don't have quite as much as we oh. do. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you're standing over here waiting. Uh -huh. And then um, cheddar. And then I'm just going to put a little paprika on the top. I'm telling you. Did you take the recipe? Yeah. Well, you bake it. I don't know how long. Because <laughs> it's 350. 350. Okay, for we'll, we'll tell them. I'm trying yeah, to get it out of your way. Thorough. I thought you had it memorized. No, not quite. All right. Choose us while we figure this out. Oh, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. You want to be sure it's, it's really you know, finished, done yeah. in the center. Yeah. So a little paprika on top. There you, you go. You got a lot of protein there. Yes. Oh, my. I oh know this my. is going to be good. Yes. Mm. I'm going to take the cheese off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not a real proponent of spinach. Mm. That yep. is really good. It's hearty, mm. friends. Good That's cup good. of coffee. Oh, that um, sounds good right now. Um, coffee. Maybe a slice of toast or mm -hmm. something. Yummy. 
but it has a lot of possibilities. Mm -hmm. This this one does. So it's called Eggs Florentine Casserole, and it's all free. We will send you by email or if you write to us. The information is coming up on your screen, and we'll send it right back to you. I would say <clears throat> sometimes a viewer will collect like 10 recipes and that they want. And um, don't request more than three at a, at a time because um, you have to, you know, it's, it's time consuming and it's easier for us if it's not so many one bunch, okay? The information's coming up on your screen. Eggs, Florentine, casserole, uh, email or write to us and we will get it out to you and stay with me. I want you to meet Deborah Morris. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, just write to the address on your screen, or you can email your request to artheline at rippy.org. I just have a new friend here. Her name is Deborah Morris, and uh, I've told you a little bit about her, and she's an animal lover. She has an animal business, but her story goes <coughs> way back. Are you an original Floridian? No, I'm mm -hmm. originally from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. It's my home state. I've been here in Florida <coughs> since 2002. And so you were here when you uh, were diagnosed with breast cancer. Yes, and it was found mm -hmm. by happenstance. I had gone in for physical and I had a chest x-ray done and there was a dark place that showed up. So it was This was not a mammogram? Nope. <clears throat> -ray. My mammograms never picked it up. Mm. So that happened in 2007 actually, starting in 2008 after I found out that I had stage 4 breast cancer. I was to start chemo and then can, to follow with radiation. Can you describe <clears throat> the moment that they told you stage four breast cancer? Does, does the world kind of stop at that point? The world stopped and I was mm -hmm. actually mortified because I'm going, I felt my humanity might be passing, uh, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. um, I was scared. Mm -hmm. And because of when I was diagnosed with it in December, I had to wait till after the holidays were over before any of the physicians would That's just start. hanging over your head, isn't it? <clears throat> and I, I worried about it. I didn't, it took me a week before I could even tell my husband. Really? Wow. I, I it just, I mean, it really hit me hard. So that's when my journey started mm -hmm. and it will be nine years. Okay, so did, did you have surgery? Yes, I had surgery and they removed the mass and then the chemo. And started. it seems to me like you had an awful lot of chemo. I did. I started chemo in January and it did not stop for me and until the end of April. And I was at the hospital or doctor's office, depending on where it was, weekends affected where I went every day, seven days a week. I was under some type of treatment. It was very mm -hmm. aggressive. And during this time, you met a gentleman who was also taking chemo. Yes. And he didn't seem to respond like some of the others, I like had, yourself. I had been underway through my chemo mm -hmm. starting in January. But I met other people because we were all there and getting our treatments at the same time. Instant bond, isn't it? <laughs> you, you become friends with everybody. You see each other every day, all day. So I met him, and he had stage 4 throat cancer. But Joe wasn't getting sick like the rest of us. He wasn't losing his hair. He wasn't getting the sick pasty color or anything like that. And his wife, I met her, her name is Sue. And she said, well, I'll tell you what he's doing. He's taking Cell Quest. And I'm going, Cell Quest, what is it? I've never heard of it, didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. She says, we've been using it and, he, and we started it before he started his chemo and this is how he is. I'm just curious, do you know how he learned about it? Because <clears throat> so much of us... Through another about. cancer patient mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. And so word is spread by word of mouth yeah. with CellQuest. And 
the people that were undergoing treatment at the same time that I was, you could tell the ones of us that were taking it because we weren't not having such bad side effects of the chemos that we were going through versus the people that wouldn't do it. I mean, and it's a personal choice. Sure. You have to have a can-do attitude mm -hmm. and be willing to do anything. <clears throat> and in my situation, I wasn't given good odds, so I didn't yes, have anything tell, to lose. Tell the people, what were your odds? I only had a 40% chance of survival. And so, after hearing about this... It's like, what have you got to lose? I didn't have anything. And I really did. I, and I prayed about this. I was scared. And I have a lot of faith, as I told you when we first met yeah. and was talking. And I prayed about it. And I'm going, you know what? I'm going to do this. So, I did. And I'm still using it. And you're still here. I, how, yeah. how many years later? Nine years. Nine years. From stage four breast cancer and a lot of chemo. Yes. And, but and then radiation after that. Really? Yes. Boy, it, is it like you, they just beat you up? <laughs> yes, and I volunteered. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, it had to be done. But I really do think that, in all honesty, I think the cell quest is why I'm still here today mm -hmm. because I, I recuperated faster too. Usually it takes people a year or a longer to get over the You still take it today, religiously? I still t yes. I drink anywhere mm -hmm. today from a half a bottle to a bottle. If I get, feel like I'm getting under the weather, I'll drink more. Because it truly supports your immune system. Yes. It goes after anything bad in your body and it helps your body's immune system fight it and get rid of it naturally and it doesn't interfere with your other medications that you're taking at and, all and you're not uh, just a critter lover and all those you you have degrees in both chemistry and biology yes so you recognize and a master's in business <laughs> yeah so you recognized early on that that this was science was good yes the moment that I understood after talking um, with the CellQuest people, that this works down at the cellular level. The lights were going off in my head going, I get it. All right, there's nothing wrong with this. I need to get on board. Mm -hmm. And I don't embrace everything. I'm, I'm a skeptic about a lot of things, mm -hmm. and you have to show me and you have to prove it mm -hmm. to me. And CellQuest did. And I share what I have learned mm -hmm. with others, and I've done that through the years. Yes, and a lot of our regular viewers know about CellQuest, but we have new ones every day. And we are making an offer of this product that I've offered for years and received such really good feedback on it. And so that's three bottles. This is an initial order. And after that, you can uh, get the rest of it in a bigger amounts from CellQuest. If you use credit card or debit card, it's 1-800-229-0059 or the address is on your screen, and that's uh, Homekeepers Post Office Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. We will take your order, and we will send it to SailQuest, and they will send you the product. And right now I'm talking to, uh, if you just tuned in, I'm talking to Deborah Morris, who has an outstanding uh, story about this product. To me, the really outstanding story was what your doctor said to you. Now, at what point... I'll let you tell the story, but how long had you been in treatment or whatever had been going on till she was looking for the marker, the cancer marker? I had gone in for an examination this one morning before my treatment started, and um, I'd had all my tests and all done, and she comes in to me, and she says, Debbie, she says, I've got to ask you something, and she was very serious with me. And I said, well, what is that? And she said, which breast was the cancer in? And I thought she was being funny with me, even though she was being so straight-faced. Mm -hmm. And I said, you are kidding, right? She said, no, I can see where the marker is, but there's nothing there now. Well, at that point, Praise I God. had, <laughs> yes, not only that, I <laughs> thank God for that very much so, because he pointed me in this direction. Yeah. But I said, all right, I haven't been honest with you. I didn't lie to her, I just didn't tell her I was doing it. Mm -hmm. I had been on CellQuest. I started uh, actually at the end of January, first part of February. 
And at this point, we were at toward the end of February, first part of March. And I said, I'm taking a product called CellQuest. And she knew what it was, but she didn't know what it did and what its purpose was about. And I explained to her quickly, and I told her how I was using it. Mm -hmm. Well, it could interfere. And I, no, it doesn't. I said, you're looking at me, and I'm fine. So from that point in time, the chemo was doing its work, but the tumor, what was left, even though I had had surgery, everything was had disappeared. All was left was the marker. That, and is, she could, that is astounding. And we were, and we laughed. I laughed. You could, people were coming in and going, "What's going on?" Yeah. Because we were actually laughing about. It. She says, "Debbie, she says I've never had to ask a patient where their yeah. cancer was because yours is gone." And the only thing I could contribute to that was me using the cell quest mm -hmm. in conjunction with the chemo. Because I wasn't that is, presenting that problems. That is quite a story, but we're not through. <laughs> because you had a, a dog develop yeah. breast cancer. But before you tell us about that, tell me a little bit about your business. I, at the top of the show, I talked about, said so you take about anything but reptiles. Um, is that pretty It is accurate? true. I take care of, from small animals to livestock. Uh-huh. Um, Dogs make up the majority of my business, mm -hmm. large parrots, mm -hmm. uh, cats, but I also take care of horses, and I do have cattle. And you'd be surprised at the number of people that could be your neighbors that have chickens. You take care of chickens, too? I have chickens. Honey, I've chickens. never met anybody like you. Oh, <laughs> well, this is great. <laughs> so, yes, and, we, we've, and I'm We've had your phone number up on the screen, also the, also the email, and we'll show those again. Uh, so that if that... Uh, she lives in Central Florida, Tampa Bay area, so forth. Okay, now let's talk about the doggy. How did you find out that the dog had breast cancer? Well, I had a surprise again. It happened de de in December. Mm -hmm. I took my dog, Bree. I'm a Labradoodle uh, breeder as well. I love those dogs. Um, I breed every couple of years. Well, Bree is, is my pride and joy. I love her dearly. Well, I took her to the groomer, mm -hmm. and she calls me. She says, Debbie? She says, when you pick Bree up, you need to look at her. Say, we found something on her. And I'm good. Well, it scared me immediately. Well, I went to overdrive. Bree had her surgery. Um, I had done everything locally that I could do. But because I'm a cancer survivor, breast cancer too, to boot. So they, they removed a cancer they cut, from her? They removed her breast. Really? I've never heard yes, of that. Yes, she had breast cancer. And... It was really, it was stage two. Do they give a dog chemo? chemo? Yes, they do. Do they? Yes, they do. So I got in touch with University of Florida in Gainesville uh -huh. and went there because of a client slash friend of mine that has there taken her cat. Mm -hmm. And they actually use CellQuest as part of their treatment regimes for animals this that was have a, cancer. This was a vet. My vet here didn't, uh -huh. but a vet um, in... Gainesville actually uses the cell quest. Well, th this isn't the first we've heard of them using a, a vet. It works it. very well, just like with people. Mm -hmm. It works very well with your animals. The key is is getting them to take it. So, um, with my training hat put on, I worked with Bree about two weeks, and I got her to where she was. She begs for it now. She, she didn't gets it like in, it in the beginning? No. So how'd you trick her? How'd you trick her? I started <clears throat> putting it, mixing it with her food, and I would heat it, mm -hmm. and she liked it. And I have two other doodles, and they didn't want to be left out. So now all of my <clears throat> noodles get CellQuest every day. They get a half a cup of each. Well, so, girl, you're, <laughs> you're just uh, the best. So I would give them to any, I'd give it to any of them. You're the best ambassador uh, for this program, but... The interesting thing about CellQuest is you're not the only one. We have had a lot of people. wonderful, dramatic uh, testimonies about this, this product. After you heard about it from this other patient that you met, and you did look at the science first, and you had, you had the education to make some kind of a judgment on that. Very much so. Uh, so you didn't look back after that. You just started taking it. Yes, and not sorry. I wish I had found out or had known about it as I was starting that journey, but I didn't. You don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. So I would never give up CellQuest. I will always have it in my life. 
Um, the good thing about my business is it puts me in with a lot of different types of people mm -hmm. and they're in their homes. Mm -hmm. And I deal with a lot of people that they're finding out they've got cancer too. Well, I sit down and I talk with them about it. So I talk about CellQuest and I tell them and show them what it's done for me. Mm -hmm. And now then when they have their animals, I'm adding mine. I mean, I'm living it. So mm -hmm. CellQuest is a great product. It's interesting to me that um, you're, you're kind of on a mission to help people mm -hmm. uh, with, this, with this product. I do it quietly. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a company that <clears throat> has to be very careful with this advertising and, and all of this, but word of mouth is probably the most powerful kind of advertising and information that a person can give when, when you can tell what something's done for you. Mm -hmm. uh, when you first began to take it, because this is what a lot of people question, you took a lot. I'll tell you, you how. Not? I'll tell you how I did it. First of all, you have to look at what your weight is, whatever your body weight is, and you also have to look at how your body is affected because some medication <clears throat> can make you gain weight mm -hmm. or lose weight, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I did, this is how I did myself, and it works. Mm -hmm. I got up in the morning, the first thing that I did, I drank an entire bottle before I did and anything else. And that's 16 else. ounces. I drank a 16 ounce bottle. Mm -hmm. Some people dilute it, mm -hmm. I drink it straight. Mm -hmm. But you can put the juices to it, mm -hmm. and it's just fine. But I drank one, I drank four times a day, morning, noon, afternoon, and bedtime. If and I this, was, this was when you were in the cancer battle. That was when I was fighting it, tooth mm -hmm. and nail. And the days that they were telling me that I was going to get even stronger mm -hmm. medications, that day, I would drink up to eight bottles a day. Yeah, you, what you did, they were giving you chemo that was poison, and you were giving yourself kind of a, a chemo that would build your it immune was, system. So I could survive yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Well, we are just about out of time, but I want to once again tell you that we are offering this product that's three bottles for $39.95. The information's on your screen. Uh, you can order it by debit or credit card, 1-800-229-0059, or the address is on your screen. And I know that for our regular viewers, you've, you've heard of this product before. And um, many, many of you uh, have ordered it. And here's one more very dramatic, dramatic testimony story about this product and I'm so pleased to be able to introduce you to uh, Deborah and hear her story. We are out of time, but please remember friends, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you should miss a homekeeper's program, you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com. Click on CTN programs and then on homekeepers. 